The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Name is Bruce, call sign G4ABX. What I'm going to do today is to continue the discussion regarding the latest 02W equipped with BuilderPy for the IC705 or, or any transceiver that needs digital modes connectivity and has a USB connection with the transceiver containing the necessary UARTs and sound card like the 705 or the 7300. I'm sure several other transceivers are the same. So you can use this plug and play pretty much uh, with any of those uh, rigs. Even my KX3S, uh, K3S rather, uh, will operate with this. So I'm running on the 02W, which I've, I've shown you already, the, the physical entity. Uh, BuilderPy, BuilderPy by Jason, KM4ACK. Great piece of uh, software that he's done for the amateur fraternity for us to use, free and for nothing, which is brilliant. And uh, I'm, hopefully today I'm going to show you how it all works. I've got this coupled at the moment to my IC705. Um, but I've also got um, BuilderPy running on the latest Bullseye Pi operating system. Couple of quirks that have frustrated the heck out of me for a while, but I've kind of got to the bottom of them now. Several other people have found them too. Um, and, and one of those, the most important for me, is I run my Pi headless. I don't have a monitor plugged in. Um, one is to do with setting the resolution for headless operation. Uh, there's a couple of things that uh, you kind of need to do, and it's all moved a bit from the previous version of the Pi operating system, Buster. So let's just have a look down here at um, the, the Pi. Um, let's go to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration. Uh, we'll wait for that to open. Takes a, a few seconds. Here we go. And if you look at the display up here, if you click display, there is now an entry called headless resolution. And that magically is where you set the resolution of your headless operation. So before you get here, if you turn the thing on, you'll discover that you're set at 720 by 480, which is kind of next to useless when you want a, a good amount of real estate. Um, I often run it at 1280 by 720 because it happens that my 7-inch monitor is that sort of resolution. But uh, as I'm running on a, a full-size monitor, 24-inch um, monitor, I'm going with the 1920 by 1080. So there's a few other things we can do, like overclocking, overclocking, <laughs> overclocking the Pi. Um, the Pi is claiming to be at 0.7 at the moment, but I've got it overclocked just to one gigahertz, nothing too dramatic. And the temperature of operation presently is 37.6 degrees. It never really gets much above 42, 43 degrees, even when you're working it hard. So with BuilderPi installed on top of Bullseye, and there's a specific set of scripts for that from Jason. We can now start to look at um, running applications installed from BuilderPy. Um, the first one of these is Conkey, <coughs> which is that display you can see on the top right hand side of the screen with G4ABX above it. I find that quite useful, gives the times, gives um, the processor speed, uptime, the temperature of the processor, CPU, CPU usage, memory, etc, etc. Uh, and also, quite importantly, gives you the uh, wireless IP address. Um, because often when you start off headless, you haven't got a clue. So I use a, a Mac and another application just to find out where things are. And that, that kind of works for me. Um, but I'm going to now click on FL Rig. FL Rig is the application that I use for communicating with my rig. Um, 
I've got FL Rig set to IC705. I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Go to Config, Setup, Transceiver, click Transceiver, and here you will see a good many transceivers, lots and lots and lots of them. Uh, for me, just click on IC705. Then you get to select which serial port you want to use. I, I know it's that one. Um, then select the board rate, uh, one stop bit echo. I don't need this RTS and DTR at 12 volts, so we can deselect those. Initialize, and then get rid of that, and, and then everything is, everything is fine. Um, you'll be able to turn the volume up remotely. Um, there's a number of things you can do. Set the power level remotely. Uh, I've got it set at 100% at the moment. Filters, noise reduction, etc, etc. Quite a lot of things you can do from the 705, um, from the control panel here, the 705. And now let's move across uh, back to ham radio and let's go to WSJTX and load that. It takes just as long on this Pi as it does on any Pi or most PCs. Um, it just takes a little while to get itself up and running. And there we are. Um, it's running on 40 meters now. You can see from the waterfall display up here, um, starting to populate the waterfall display with signals. And here we are, we're beginning to get them in the received pane here on the left hand side. HA1BF. Um, when I'm running QRP, which I generally do, uh, I tend not to try and call stations that have got lower than a kind of a minus 10 signal level at this point. Uh, otherwise you'll find it pretty frustrating because very few will come back to you. But anything in kind of positive numbers is fine. Um, we could definitely, uh, we'll have a go at calling HA1BF. So double click that and uh, we're now calling him and we'll see whether he comes back. It might take a few goes but uh, we'll see if he, uh, he comes back. As I say, we're, just, we're running 10 watts uh, barefoot as it were from the IC705. Uh, he may come back, um, he may not, it just depends whether time and the gods smile on us. Didn't hear me for those two calls, we'll try one more time. And uh, if that doesn't work, uh, we'll move off and uh, talk about other things. I'll put a couple more applications up on the screen so you can have a look. And no, he doesn't seem to have come back to that call either. It's often the way. The, the bands are fairly noisy. If you actually look on the waterfall display, this is right. Oh, he did. We've got him. And he's given me minus 23 dB which is not very strong. <laughs> I think minus 24 is about the lowest I've ever decoded uh, on this. So minus 23 dB is not very strong. Um, he's, oh, we've given him a plus six. So as you can see, he's running quite a bit more power than we are. <laughs> and or he's got much better antennas. I, I've just got a low off-center fed dipole. And there we are. There is the... Uh, there's the connection completed. So I'll just fill in a, a few bits here. Um, you don't need to fill in all of this. Um, so we sent him plus six and we received minus 23. And uh, propagation mode, I will ignore that. Okay, all done. So there we go. So that kind of proves that the little Pi 02W and its cute package with a single uh, micro USB connection to the IC705 works brilliantly. And if you look at the temperature display in the top right hand corner, you'll find it sitting at about 40 degrees, 39.7, 40.2, 40.8, etc. So no worries at all about temperature rise running in this application. So I hope you found that interesting and um, I'll be back shortly uh, with some more. Thank you very much indeed. All the best. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.